Welcome back. French railway workers have launched uh, one of the largest industrial strikes seen against President Macron's move to overhaul state transport. Let's go live to our Paris correspondent Charlotte Dubsky uh, joins us. Uh, what are scenes like there now? Are things getting heated yet or not? Yes, absolutely. If you just uh, look behind me, you'll get a sense of the police who are out in force. Uh, this is the gendarmerie and the CRS who are here to try and stop uh, the demonstrators from going down streets. They're not meant to. We've already seen clashes uh, from those at the front of the demonstration. Uh, they appear to be members of the Antifada or the black box, as they're known here in France, who've been smashing up businesses, throwing bottles at the police and setting a light to bin. So uh, what you see normally from these guys is they try try to have uh, as much provocation to the police or the CRS as possible and then we see obviously the CRS uh, returning that in kind sometimes with tear gas no tear gas as of yet today uh, but we are expecting things to stay heated now as if you can see in the background there is a, a large group behind me this is the, the front of the crowd uh, many of them have their faces covered because they don't want people to be able to identify them in fact when we were trying to film some of the devastation that they were causing just in the last half an hour. They physically came up and stopped us from filming and told us we were not to film anybody breaking or damaging any businesses until they had finished and fled the scene. This is, of course, meant to be a strike by the SNCF. This is the rail workers here in France. Also, Air France staff are on strike as well as some other elements of society. Uh, they're unhappy with Macron's plans to change to uh, upgrade the uh, the railways here in France saying that uh, the proposals being put forward by Macron's government will lead to the privatisation of the rail. Macron's government has denied that in fact. So yes, the strike's ongoing today. This is the first day of around 36 days of strike between now and the end of June. This is a huge fight between the unions to decide whether the unions still have the kind of power that they're associated with here in France and of course Macron's determination to push through his policy. But for the moment, this is yet another violent protest with clashes between the protesters at the front and also uh, the CRS, the police here in France. Live from the scene of those protests in Paris, our correspondent in Europe, Charlotte Dubinsky. Thank you.